Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, I'm gonna show you how you can benefit from a few of the new features added to the latest uh, Garmin G1000 NXi add-on. Uh, so to do that, we're gonna look at the flight plan specifically because there are several changes which are pretty handy. So as you can see, the flight plan is currently empty. So we're gonna add, uh, I would say the departing or the originating airport uh, by pressing the button here. Uh, and then uh, using the, oh, come on, I said pressing the button and then going to the correct section, in this case the origin and then we're going to use a small button to change the identifier. In this case we're going to depart from a, a Lima Golf in the Romeo. So I'm going to use the scroll from the mouse pretty handy right you can I would say also press the mouse button but if you've if you're lucky and you've got a scroll button on your mouse you can also use that one which goes much faster uh, L -I -G -R. Oh, too far in this case uh, Iraq Leon uh, so we're gonna press enter and we already uh, requested the information from uh, the ATIS and it says we need to use runway 9 so we can also select runway 9 here and then press enter which results in that the flight is added here so that's all nice right so let's uh, assume that we're gonna fly to uh, Lima Golf uh, 54 so we're gonna change it again so by pressing this button you will zoom on the uh, or you will not zoom <laughs> you will center on the aircraft position uh, so we're gonna make sure that we're gonna go to the destination and then we're gonna select Lima Golf using these buttons again and then the number five and then finally the number uh, four we're gonna press enter again in this case we can select the runway again by using the buttons here so let's assume that we are gonna use uh, runway 9 also but of course it's uh, strongly recommended to have a, have a look at the uh, runways which are I would say available and are uh, used so for now we're gonna assume runway 9 is the one which is being the active one uh, and we're gonna press enter again now you can see we've got a straight flight to uh, the other airport but I want to fly via uh, some other waypoints which are added here. So we're going to add um, base as it looks like. So let's do that. So we're going to add it as an en route waypoint. And the nice thing about the uh, Garmin G1000 NXi one that it has, I would say, kind of a preview right in this map, which is not really new because the new feature we're going to focus on, I would say, in a few minutes. So I'm going to change this. Waves, where are you? Here it is. So we're gonna press enter, and now you can see that the flight plan has changed. So enough about this, because now the cool part comes, which has changed as part of the latest update. So if you go to the proc button, which shows you the procedures, you can select an approach, an arrival, and a departure. Uh, previously, when you selected the departure, you were not able to see, okay, what's the departure route it will take. But now it ha has that option. So you can go to the departures, and then you need to make sure that you selected the correct runway, right? So in our case, uh, we need to select runway, uh, did we select runway 27? probably we did uh, if not make sure that you select the correct runway uh, if the runway is not available then it could be that you selected a departure which is not in line with what is expected it could be that this is a bug because normally it should only show the departures which are I would say uh, available for specific runways and you can see that it shows it here if you look pretty closely it shows the different options here so it's runway 27 again and it looks like that there is some work to be done here. So this is runway 9 as you can see. Because here you can see runway 9. And then you see the other ones. So let's find, I would say, one of the uh, options which will 
suit or fly the most. So there is some work to be done there uh, for this specific piece. So we're gonna <laughs> scroll to it. But the nice thing about this is that you now can really see, okay, hey, this is the, uh, I would say, preview of the route which we can take. Of course, the other way is to find the uh, specific uh, departure route, so the standard instrumental departure route, uh, using one of the sources on the internet, right? That's also an option. Uh, so I'm going to scroll down, and the cool thing is that it allows us to really show us, okay, what are the maps, uh, or what are the points which we need to visit as part of the standard instrumental departure. So this runway 30 again, runway 12, Runway 27, runway 09. Well, let's select this one, right? So we're going to press enter, and then it says runway 9, then IROT 36, then SIT, then it will fly back uh, to the other waypoint. And now our fly plan has been adjusted, and you can see that it's been added to the uh, origin part. The cool thing is that you can do the same thing for the uh, destination, right? So you can press the procedures button again, then you can select uh, approach. And uh, based on that, now it shows us the correct approach of so visual 09. That's correct. Then you can say vectors are straight. And that will allow you to define, I would say, the approach. In this case, it's a small airport, which doesn't have an official, I would say, standard terminal approach route. Uh, but if you select another airport, you would be able to also select it here. Uh, and it again shows the preview, which in this case is, I would say, straight in. So we're going to enter it. Uh, obstacle clearance is not provided. Okay, let me do that in that case. So press cancel. And then go back. And then you can specify the minimums, right? You can specify it, but it's not strictly necessary to do that. Uh, if you want to do it, you can change it here um, by using this button, right? Then you can say, okay, hey, I want to use the minimum barrows or I want to switch it to off and then specify a minimum altitude. But think about it again, we're not gonna uh, do it right now uh, so we're gonna simply approach the warning and that will now also add the i would say approach for runway visible 09 for lima golf uh, 54. so a nice addition in the procedures button where you can really see the different i would say uh, previews of those approaches with the building garmin uh, tool so here ends this how to i hope you liked it if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you've got questions or comments then feel free to put them in the comment box below and if you want to stay up to date about new videos i'm posting then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time